Hello everyone, today I want to talk about this camera. This is the Fujifilm Instax Mini 40 and this is going to be an honest review from someone who is new with cameras. We took a two hour Spain trip and practiced a little bit. You can see the full video of our Spain trip here. So we want to share about the good things and the bad things about it. So let's start with the good things. The first positive thing and the most obvious is that it does an instant print. Which is really cool because you can have the photo immediately and you don't need to go to a store and print it. Second, the photos are with a decent quality. So they're not as good as a professional camera, but they're also not bad, so it's a decent quality. Third, the photos are unique. You cannot take the same photo again and they're not digital so you cannot print them 100 times. It's only one photo, one shot. So in this trip we want to try it out and to see if it's worth it to have this camera and to see what kind of cool shots we can make. I'm not good in cameras. I'm not so good behind the camera, but I will practice with this one, which is hard because you have only one chance. And yeah, let's see how it goes. You took it? Yes. That was so bad. I, I think the photo looks cool. You cannot tell that Fabi failed the trick, but I think it's a little bit too bright. Yeah, I think it will take a little bit more time, but it's almost there. Yeah. It was a practice for me and for him, so... Yeah, I haven't done this in a while. This. Fourth, it is a good sized camera. It is not too big and it's also not too heavy. So it fits perfect in a suitcase and it doesn't take too much space. And also it has a decent quality, the camera in itself. It is hard plastic and I think if you drop it, it can handle it at least if it's not too high. <laughs> the fifth and final thing we thought which is really cool about this camera, it makes you feel go back in time. It is so different taking a photo with this camera than to take a photo with a phone. Even the colors of the photo, they have this really vintage look and gives you this nostalgia and makes you feel being in the old times. Now we want to also talk about the bad things about this camera. First of all, it is expensive. Each photo you're taking, it costs around 80, 90 cents, but it makes you appreciate every single photo too. <laughs> it is also easy to waste pictures of this camera because you cannot change the settings of the camera and it's easy to have it overexposed or underexposed and then you just waste it. So the photo is overexposed because the sun is in, in the photo up there. It's too bright. So I think there is there's another skate ramp in the other side. And I think if we take a photo at this side, it's better because then the sun is in our back, then it's not overexposed. Oh, yes. Photo. That one came out nice, I think so. I hope I got the perfect timing because this is so hard to get the timing when you're doing Moving. the trick in the air. Yeah. Action photos with a Polaroid, that's hard. So if you are more into photography and you wanna manually expose your camera, then you have other options in the market, like the Now Plus. With this camera, you can manually expose everything so then your photos can look so much better. We love this camera and it's definitely going to be part of our next trips. Hopefully this video was helpful for you and please subscribe to support this channel. Thank you for watching, see you soon!